the smart lock comes with a standard 65mm cylinder lock. You can adjust the size of this lock up to 85mm. First, you will need to remove these screws. Use the Allen key provided. Be careful that the pieces are not lost, you will need to use these pieces later on. Next, remove the extension parts from the bag. You have a choice of increasing the length of the lock on both sides or just on one side by one centimetre. For example, if I want to increase the distance of the outer side by 1cm, take the 10cm extension piece and the screw and attach it to the lock. Make sure that the groove is facing towards the lock and the smooth side is facing away from the lock. You should see that it aligns perfectly. Secure with the screw. Next, reattach the cylinder. Use the original cylinder, which is the shorter one, do not use the extended cylinder that is inside the bag. This time, leave a gap and use only the upper screw. Make sure that it's secured tightly. Next, put back the 5mm turning plate. Followed by the 10mm turning plate. Next, place the turning mechanism in the middle. In this example, we don't want to increase the size of the inner side of the lock, so we can simply reattach it. This is very important. Do not forget to reattach the turning plate inside the lock. Without the turning plate, it will not work. Once that is attached, 
Secure the lock with the screws. Your lock is now set up. Make sure you test that the lock is fully smooth. We now have a 75 millimeter cylinder lock with 42.5 millimeter on the outer side and 32.5 millimeters on the inner side. You will notice that the lock doesn't work fully yet. You will need to put some batteries in. Using the suction pad, lift up and rotate. Loosen the screw on the battery cover. Next, lift up the battery cover. Insert a CR123A battery. They are not included. With the positive terminal facing away from the lock. You can now test the lock. As no fingerprint is registered, any touches will activate the lock. Make sure that you test that the lock is still fully smooth. In the next example, we're going to show you how to create a 85 millimeter lock. You will be using all of the extension pieces, including the extended cylinder. Remove all the components from the original lock. Attach the extension pieces on both sides, securing with the screws. And now using the extended cylinder, connect all the pieces back together. Do not forget to put back the turning plates inside the lock.
The lock is now set up. You now have an 85 millimeter cylinder lock, 42.5 millimeters on the outer side and 42.5 millimeters on the inner side. Always test that the lock is still functioning as expected. Make sure that it is smooth always on both sides.